Hello guys and gals, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, and today we're going to be taking a first look at Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Now, this is a brand new game coming out on March the 23rd over on Steam, and we're going to do a little evaluation of it today and let you guys see if this is a game that you might want to add into your library. Now, it's a lot like Car Mechanic Simulator. In fact, it's distributed by the same company, Playways, who have been kind enough to go ahead and give us a key so we can take an early look at it so thanks to them uh, but it's basically the same type of game you're going to take locomotives tear them apart fix them put them back together make a little bit of money off of it plus it's got a few other little hidden gems in it as well so anyways we'll check it out today and see if you like it if you do make sure you smack that like button leave a comment below and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel if this is your kind of content all right let's get started with train mechanic simulator 2017 now i have already played a little bit of the game just to give it an evaluation but we're going to start right from the beginning with a brand new game so we can skip through all the tutorials and all that other stuff with you and you can see just what the game is all about so anyways welcome to the game train mechanic 2017 you're a train mechanic and your task will be to repair the rail vehicles in three different workshops under your care will be both archaic and simple steam engines as well as the very modern electric locomotives each locomotive will be assigned to a garage adapted to repair its respective type good luck all right let's get started one of the things we need to do right off the bat though is turn down that guitar music because it is a little bit loud now i would have liked to have turned that down uh you know before we even started this so it wouldn't have been so blaring loud but unfortunately i tried that uh in a previous attempt to record this and the settings didn't hold and so as soon as i clicked on the start button uh it about blew my eardrums out so uh anyways once we get in here we can set the sound and now we're good to go all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to this office obviously because this desk is glowing white that just gotta mean we need to come in here right check out our work orders welcome to the work order acceptance systems here you'll be able to accept work orders missions assigned to a given workshop in this window you can switch between work orders to skip to a given task and possibly finish it later all right cool all right so our list of work orders and our job number one welcome to the game train mechanic 2017 your first mission will be a simple train repair so you can become familiar with the basics of the game your task will be repairing a locomotive in which the steel and rubber springs in the front truck have been damaged all right well that tells us everything we need to know our income will be 250 bucks off of it and a bonus of 500 so we'll go ahead and accept that job in comes the choo-choo all right, here's our job order. It appears that the cause of the locomotive's malfunction is damaged carriage. Probably they are the steel and rubber springs. Locate the exact cause of the defect and replace with a new part. Task income, 125 bucks. I thought they told me I was gonna get 250 off of this. We had ripped off here. All right, let's get going. All right, the controls are much like Car Mechanic Simulator. If you notice up at the top, you've got your job, condition, body, parts warehouse, tablet. Yeah, it's about the same thing. And it's about the same way you interact with it. You hover over a part. If you left click on a mouse, disassemble mode. In this mode, you can strip down the locomotive, taking apart all its available components. Often to be able to get to a part, you will need to remove other parts, even those operating properly. Please remember about this. All right, yeah, whatever. All right, so as I'm gonna say, it's got the same basic functions as car mechanic simulator up at the top. You've got disassemble, installation, and testing mode. So if we go into testing mode three, in this mode, you can check the condition of various train elements to estimate its profitability of the repair. Remember, the higher level the wear of the individual elements, the greater the risk of unsuccessful repair of the element. Yeah, whatever. So if we come over here, and it's the basic same thing as in car mechanic uh, in the, in the uh, testing mode. Basically, if you hold down your mouse button over an element, it will 
look at it and decide whether or not it needs to be repaired or not. Green is good, red is bad. So if we come over here to our steel spring, we'll see that one is good. This one by the rust and everything you can tell is bad. This one here, bad. This one here, good. So we know these two parts need to be taken off and replaced. So that should be uh, all that we have to work on today. So let's go ahead and disassemble. We'll go into one. And to disassemble, you just click on the element. It'll show you the bolts that need to be taken out and then you just wrench those out. Holding down the left mouse button. Wrench out the bolts here, wrench them out there. See, it's the same sound effects, the same thing. I, I thought this was by the exact same distributor, or not distributor, it is the same distributor. I thought it was the same developer, uh, but it's actually a different one, unless they changed their name recently. Uh, but anyways, those two parts are out, and we are done with removal. We just need to get new ones. Now, we can buy new ones, or we can come over here to the workbench, and we repair them. There are three different workbenches. There's one for hydraulics. There's one for mechanics. And there's one for electricals. So we're going to go to the mechanicals bench over here. And um, which this should be called mechanicals, not mechanics bench. But anyways, uh, we'll check this bench out. Uh, Subspecific assemblies may be repaired on workbenches. We've divided them into three categories. I'm talking like the dude from Giant Machines. Anyways, we can come over here and we can give a shot at repairing some of these items. So, uh, if we can repair them, we don't have to buy them, and that's a good thing. So, let's see if we can repair. Oh, looky here. We got a 100% chance of success on repairing these. So that's good to know. So successfully repaired. That means we don't have to spend any money on buying new parts. So we can go ahead and repair that one. Bada bing, bada boom. That is good. Let's go slap these back onto the uh, onto the train here. Go back to the motor truck. Uh, we took out this one back here. So now we'll go into installation mode and it's just a repeat of the process. You click on the place where you want to do something. In this window, you can manage your spare parts. You can sell them. Then yeah, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Select the part that we want to put in there. It puts that in the bolts. We wrench them back into place. And the repair is going to be made. Nice. All right, come back up here. We'll do the same thing in the front. Put the part in place. And wrench it back in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. And that, my friend, should be done. It looks like everything is, is already repaired. You can finish the task from the work order sheet. All right, thank you very much. So we'll hit M. That's gonna bring up our work order sheet. We can see that we got both of the springs replaced. We have finished the order. Moosey gets paid! How about that? Nice, so we got the 250. Oh, so it was 125 per spring. I gotcha. Plus, we got the bonus for a low cost. So we make 750 on that job. Not too bad. Not too bad. So let's do another one. What do you say? What do you say? All right. So we'll walk in here into the work orders area. Click on the bench. Job order number two. The driver complains about a faulty brake system. Locate the cause of the defect and make repairs. This work order is slightly more difficult. Remember that each part type is repaired on a different workbench. If you're not able to repair the part yourself, you can buy the new part from the store using the tablet. That just tells me right there that I'm not gonna be able to repair that part. The fact that it's telling me, don't forget to use the tablet to buy the parts that you're not gonna be able to repair. All right, so locate the faulty component of the braking system in the front truck. Now it tells you everything you need to know right here on the worksheet because uh, you don't have to go running around the train looking for the entire thing. Like you wouldn't want to go to the back truck here and try and work on it when it already tells you the problems here on the front truck, right? And I can already see this line. You pretty much, it's same as car mechanic simulator. You can look at the parts and you can tell where the problems is by the amount of wear and rust and everything on it. And it does look like the problem is going to be right here in the front with the front coupler and uh, caliper and everything. So we'll go into testing mode. And just for giggles, we'll go over to this brake caliper. Oh, it's nice and green. This one over here, 
Not so green. Yeah, that one's red. That's bad. So let's see how far the extent of the badness goes. Yep, the hydraulic brake is bad. Is the brake line bad? No, the brake line is good. All right, so our problem is right here. And again, if we looked at our worksheet and the job order, it tells us there's three things that need to be done. So yeah, we just know that that's where we need to go. So we'll go to disassembly mode and we'll start taking things apart. Now you can't take that out. It shows me that I got to take that brake line out first. So we'll take that hydraulic brake out. Then we should be able to take this guy out. Let's wrench out these bolts. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Wrench, 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 wrench. Wrench, 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 wrench. We gotta put some points into the wrench and make a speedier time taking things apart. All right. Uh, let's see, what comes out next? The caliper? Yep, the caliper comes out next. There we go, and then the caliper arm can come out last. All right, boom, bada bing, bada boom. So that one is replaced. Do we see any more problems on this choo-choo train? Uh, let's go back into testing mode. I'm just gonna, I mean, it looked like there were only three things wrong. Oh, these cameras on this game. Is there a way to zoom out? There we go. Q zooms out. I'm just gonna check this caliper there. It's fine. That caliper there is fine. All right, so we've only got one that we have to actually work on, which I, you know, I basically said that a minute ago. But anyways, I digress. Let's get around here to our workbench, and I believe this will be mechanical. So we'll come over to the mechanical table, see what we can repair over here. Hydraulic brake hoses cannot be repaired here, but that's in good shape. We're not going to worry about it. The only things we want to worry about are the brake caliper, the caliper arm, and the hydraulic brake piston. Repair. We only have a 31% chance of repairing this item. I bet we break it. I'm just saying, I bet we break it. No! Look at there! We got it fixed! Man, I didn't see that coming. Uh, let's repair the caliper arm. Oh, uh, we got a hundred percent chance of repairing it. Nice Nice now we need to repair the hydraulic brake piston, but we're on the wrong bench That would be over here on the hydraulics bench. So let's come over here and fingers crossed uh, I don't want to break this one. Come on. Come on. Come on Yes, oh man, I'm lucking out here today. All right, so with all those parts fixed, now we can run back around the train and we can go replace these and be done. Why am I running around the train? It's on this side that's broken. And boy, I'm a fool, aren't I? All right, so here we are back on our frame. We want to go into assembly mode, so let's hit two and let's put everything right back in place. We'll start with our brake caliper arm. Select that, put that into place. Tighten up the bolt on it. Yep. Ah, then the next uh, part. Let's go ahead and put the brake caliper back in. Select that. There we go. And then let's see the hydraulic. Select. Now, unless the work order calls for you to replace everything on the, you know, to get everything up to a certain percentage, don't replace anything that you don't need to. If it ain't broken, don't fix it uh, because that'll eat into your profitability and it will also lose your bonus uh, for less cost. So like if I had made the mistake of trying to repair the brake line, I would have lost money here. So, uh, but it was 98% anyway. So we're not doing a full restoration though. I haven't played far enough into the game to see, but I bet at some point you get like a full restoration type job, you know, like for a museum or something like that. It wouldn't surprise me. But anyways, that should be the job. We should be done with there. Looks like it. Oh yeah. Choo choo. See you later. Need a horn. All right. So we got a bonus. And remember, use your earned cash to improve your workshop by edit using the table, tablet. Blah, 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 blah. So if we hit T, here's our tablet. This is very much like the tablet in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, the tablet is your information center. Here you can start online stores, parts, 
There are three shops from mechanics, hydraulics, and electrical systems. Again, should be mechanical. Improve your garage. Go to the mechanics help center that describes all the operations in the game. Anyways, uh, improve your workshop. This is what I wanted to go to. We got 1700 bucks. We can uh, put a little bit of that back into the shop. And what we want to put it into is screw gun. Because that way we can, uh, you know, put things in. And then if you increase your workbenches, the better your more points you put into your workbenches, the more likelihood you are to be able to repair something. So let's put a little bit of money into our mechanics workbench uh, so we can make it a little bit better. Because it seems like most of the stuff is mechanical. But as soon as I do that, we'll probably get something electrical that we have to work on and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyways, time for a new job. We got time for one more. So let's keep on going. We're kind of zooming through these. So, work order, job. Sometimes the task will involve finding repairing locomotives that were damaged somewhere on the route of the game world, and then towing them off to the appropriate workshops and making repairs. For the purposes, you use a special repair train. Uh, this time, a diesel locomotive broke down in square D1. Locate it and tow it to the workshop. We suspect a truck failure. All right. So we're going out and we're getting a train. Now this is the cool part of this game. The car mechanic side of it where you break everything down and you fix it and everything, that was cool enough. But wait, there's train sim involved in this. If we come down to these garage doors here, and nope, uh, wrong set of garage doors. We need to go down to this garage door down here. Ah, there it is. Leave the garage. Why, yes, I think we will. It's going to load up a whole nother part of this game, which is going to give us a train to drive around and go recover other trains to work on. How cool is that? Right? So, find a locomotive in square D and tow it to the workshop. So, here we go. What is square D? Well, if we hit M for map, it's going to bring up this cool little map here that you can drag around and look at. And you can see the squares at the top. You've got a legend at the top, right? E, D, C, B, if we pull over here, A, because that's the way the alphabet works, right? And then if we go to the very top up here, you got over on this side, one, two, everybody count with me. I feel like I'm in Sesame Street. Three, four, five, there we go. So if we do grid reference on it, D1 is up here at the top in this area, and we're gonna have to choo choo up here. Now, this is where the game gets kind of cool. All these little green things, they're all switches. So you gotta drive your train up the railroad track, and when you, along the way, you gotta make sure you throw the right switches so you can go to the appropriate area. How cool, right? So you get to drive a train and then repair it. I'm, I'm beside myself. So here's our little choo-choo that we're gonna be driving on. And I'll try and zoom out a little bit so you can see it. It's like the bumblebee of um, choo-choo trains, but this is like a work train. It's got all kinds of lights on it. It's kind of sharp looking. Yep, it's got a horn too. Oh man, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna have a load of fun with this game. And then on the back of it, it's got this cool like crane train. Oh, pretty cool, right? All right, so the basic controls on it, W increases power, S decreases engine power, or puts it in reverse. Space bar is braking. Rotate the crane with, or rotate the camera with your mouse. Uh, tab for the horn. One more time. There we go. And then see his camera, we can actually go in cab and look at the in cab view. It's kind of neat, right? And then you got your controls over here. You can't actually, oh, you can interact with dynamic braking. Oh, man. So let's, can we throw the, it's almost, uh, it's not as good as Train Sim World, but it's kind of cool. Um, can you hit the throttle? Oh, oh, the throttle's moving. And that should be your independent, but. Um, all right, so we're rolling out. I'm not going to mess with those controls over there. Um, anyways, I want to go out so we can watch it go. Choo choo, let's go. All right, so we're going to roll on and we're going to have to hit some of these switches and make sure 
that they're um, they're right. So periodically, you just need to look at the thing and go, okay, this one needs to be switched. This one needs switched. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole lot of switching here. All right, so switch to city. We want to change that to switch to diesel engine depot. So you just click on it and it switches it over. You can see it's now switched. Switch to the diesel road. Uh, that one is right. This one needs to be switched over to North Station. There you go. You see that has changed now. So our choo-choo should be rolling out. And I'm going to take it kind of... Well, I'm going to increase the pace a little bit here. Just make sure it turns. Yep. Uh, and just kind of look at the map along the way and see where you need to flip some switches so you can make sure now we need to go way up here to d1 so if we come back down the line you can see where you need to throw switches we'll need to throw a run right here at the west tunnel so that we go north west asia valley we need to throw a switch at all right so south center is good but we need this west tunnel needs to go to north tunnel and then I think we need to go to, uh, let's see, West Asia Valley needs to go a different way. West Asia Valley. Yep, that's good. Southern suburb, eastern suburb. Uh, we're pretty good so far. So let's take a little train ride here and look at the scenery you've got. So this part I think is really cool. I mean, this this really threw me for a surprise uh, when I loaded up the game the first time. I did the first couple, and I was like, "Yeah, this car mechanic, uh, it's pretty cool, train mechanic simulator." Uh, but then when it came to this point, I was like, "Oh man, you had to drive a train, and the crane on the back actually works." There's some scenarios later on in the game uh, where you're going to. Um, There's some scenarios later on in the game where you're actually going to use the crane to lift trains and put it back on the track. It's um, it's kind of cool. I've played about that far. That's about how many missions I've done. There's the crane. You can see it's got the little grapple on the end of it. Oh, yeah. It's very cool. All right. So, um, anyways, we're going to head up here. D1, the train's going to be up in this area somewhere, so we've already set up our northern boundary to switch us so we can come around and look over in this area. It could be over in this area, but I'm betting it's up in here. Well, because I've already played this mission and I know it's up in here. I'm not going to lie to you. There it is. See? The big glowing green thing gives you a clue as to where it is. All right, so we'll bring the train up in here, and then once we pull into the glowing green area, uh, it is going to let us know that uh, you know we have found our choo-choo. See, there it is. And somehow we magically drive right through it and hook it up to the back of this particular train, and there it is. So now we tow that train back to the shop, and we're going to actually uh, take it back and repair it. So now we have to navigate ourselves back to the repair depot, which is down here, the diesel engine depot. So we need to navigate the map down through here, around through here, and just throw switches again and make sure that we have everything right. So you do a little bit of train driving. We're in the badlands now. Uh, anyways, not the greatest whistler in the world, but y'all know that one. Y'all know where that came from. I can't really say I'll get copyright strike, but anyways. Ooh, something green up there. Green and glowy up there. But we're not headed that direction. We're headed this way. It's like miniature train time. I mean, it really is, you know, I feel like I'm in somebody's living room playing on a miniature train. And they've got a heck of a scale up. Uh, Alright, so we're going down through the South Desert now to the castle. Ooh, a castle. That sounds interesting. Most of our little sightings look like they're thrown. Oh, is that the castle? Oh, went through the castle. You know, at some point, you know, like, 
if you really want to make this look like miniature train scale, it needs to have somebody's G.I. Joe figure over here. Or, you know, oh, hey, wait a minute, there's a soda can from last night that's right doesn't belong that's ten times larger than the train where somebody left it in there. Get that out of my model! Anybody who knows a model trainer knows they're, you know, crazy. Just kidding. They're a bit, they're a bit eccentric. Alright, so when we get to West Center, we need to throw a switch at West Center to take us to the South Center. Right? Yep, that's good. And all the rest of the switches should be good to get us back to base. So we'll tow this bad boy back there, and then we will go ahead and um, yeah, get that repaired. Let's get that horn or two. Hey, everybody loves train horn, right? Unless it's on somebody's diesel pickup truck rolling coal down the street, then it's just a little bit ridiculous. Um, and if you own one of those, well, you know, more power to you, but, you know. There's a guy here who uh, has a pickup truck, and it's a big old diesel, and he likes to have a train horn on it and drive down through the neighborhoods blowing his train horn all the time. And it's, uh, you know, eh, I guess that's cool, you know, during the day or whatever, but at, uh, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning, it's a bit much. All right, so we should be getting pretty close to the old train depot here, or excuse me, the diesel workshop. So that we can repair this bad boy. All right. Just right around the corner here is where we're at. There we go. Diesel engine depot. Coming into sight. I guess we ought to slow her down before we ram into it. Really not. I mean, you can go in here full full guns a-blazing and it's not going to do anything. Because as soon as it hits the green ring, yeah. Oh, there we go. Damaged vehicle had been restored properly and towed to the workshop. If it had been restored, then how? If it had been restored, why did we even have to tow it back here? That's that's all I'm saying. All right, there it is coming into the shop. Now we got to work on it. So find the locomotive. And just as we expected, the problem proved to be the damaged transmission in the truck. Remove and replace them. The task income is 250 bucks. Excellent. Well, let's work on this and see if we can't make a little money. All right, so it was in the front truck, which is, yeah, this is the front truck. Though, if you play Train Sim World, they don't refer to it as a front and the rear. They, what was it they called it? The short, what is it? Short shed and the long, the short hood and long hood? Is that what it is? Yeah, this is the short hood and that is the long hood. They don't refer to it as front and back. So, anyways, just a little bit from playing on it. Yeah, I've been playing it. Uh, I'm addicted to it. All right, let's go ahead and these are our transmissions right here. And we both are bad, but we'll go into testing phase and just verify it. So, and make sure that's the only bad parts we have. So, yeah, the uh, yeah, the electric motor is fine. There we go. And we'll come back here and test this one. Yeah, drive gear's bad. The electric motor, yeah, that's fine. All this is fine. Only parts we got to get off are these two. Now, to get these two parts off, we can't just take them off. If you try to take off a part and something else has, it glows red for you. So, we'll get that off. Then, we'll get the drive gear off. Well, they come off really easily. Electric motor, rotor, tip shaft, take off, and then take off the drive gear. That is what we need. And then, we can come over to the workbench, and we'll go to the mechanics workbench. That's always going to be funny in my mind. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if we can repair these. Ooh, these cost $34,000 a piece. Our chance of success is not high. And why do I get the feeling this is going to not work? Nope, failed, even though I've improved my, my, my workbench. Come on. Come on. Give me at least one good one. Come on, repair it. Yes! I'm going to save a little bit of money on this thing. 
All right, so we got one repaired, which means we are going to need to buy one. Now, we can go to the parts warehouse, I, and we can sell the broken one. So let's sell it. Yeah, goodbye, drive gear. That'll give us a little bit of cash. And then we hit T for tablet. And we're going to need mechanical parts. And we'll just scroll through the list of mechanical parts. You can see everything that is available. And down at the bottom is the drive gear. $46,000. Holy shnikes. Maybe we should have not tried to repair it and sold them off. We probably wouldn't have cost us as much money. Hmm. Anyways, let's go ahead and um, order that part. Yep. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put everything back together. So we'll go in an installation. We'll put our drive gear into place. And then we'll put the electric motor rotor tip shaft back in. Say that five times real fast. Electric motor rotor tip shaft. Electric motor rotor tip shaft. Electric rotor motor trip. Up, oh, see, can't get it. Third one. Ah, there we go. All right, so we should be done. If we check the job order, drive gear, drive gear, good to go. All right, and finish the order. I don't know if we got the bonus or not because we did have to pay a little extra. Oh, we didn't get a bonus. I probably shouldn't have tried to repair. I should have probably just sold the parts and bought the new one. Figuring out when to do that and when not to do that is going to be a part of the uh, part of the equation here. All right, what do you say we do one more? I could stop it right here in a 30 minute video, but that's not me. Uh, let's go work order. The main rail station informed us that a locomotive pulling passenger cars has not arrived on time. Check what happened. Oh, this is going to be cool. All right, except this, I already know what we're doing here, so uh, not to spoil it, but it's gonna be awesome. Um, all right, so let's go. We're getting back in our repair train and going for another ride, which is awesome, right? All right, so loading. Let's get into this and we'll go find where our choo-choo is and see what the story is. Uh, find a derailed train near the coast on square E4. That can't be good. Not a derailed train. All right, E4. And again, using our alphabet across the top, E is way over here. And 4 is right here, which means we don't really have a long way to go. Uh, we just got to go up here. A -poo -thoo -poo -thoo. And look, all our switches are basically aligned right. So let's go. Choo choo choo. What do you say we do with like in cab? Ride the rails a little bit here. All our switches should be in good shape so we can we could do the in cab view. I don't know, what do you guys think? Seems like a pretty cool game. I think it'd be very entertaining uh, for a lot of people. I think it gives you hours. The question is, is how much content is there? Now, I've played just a little bit of the game, just enough to get familiarized with it. I don't know how much content there is, but um, if there's a lot of it, I think it'd be pretty cool. I don't know what the price point is going to be on the game either, so that's another question I have is how much is it going to be? Uh, but Playway tends to have those, you know, $19 games, something in that area. Um, so uh, maybe it'll be along that price point. I think you probably at that, it's probably worth it. I think you're going to get a lot of entertainment out of it. Yeah, if there's a derailed train, I don't want to come around here and just slam into it. What do we got here? Here's our little area here. So derailed passenger train. Now here's something I find humorous. And again, it's, you know, it's just the humor in me that I find. It's a derailed passenger train, right? It was pulling passenger cars, but there's no passenger car. It's just the train. All right, press X to start the crane mode. So we want to hit X. And this is cool. 
Uh, it's actually got us set into position now with the little crane car back here. And we're going to be operating a crane car. Can we operate it from first person? No, we can't. Oh, that would be awesome. All right, so you got a little working boom, W and S. Make that go in and out and in and out and in and out and chook pump, chook pump, chook pump. Anyways, um, A and D rotate, Q and E raise it up. Oh, yeah. Up. That's as high as it goes. But I, I wouldn't think if you're lifting a locomotive, you don't want a whole lot of height on it. Uh, so let's rotate around here. And we'll push that boom way out. And we can see there's a glowing hook on this side. That's what we're going to be hooking to. Uh, and then we want to let our line out using the brackets. Yeah, get that close. Might have gone a little far out. So maybe we need to come back a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Bring her... Bring her down a little bit and let's pull the boom in some oh my expert construction sim skills coming into play here see the hooker up all right so let's start rotating this a little bit so or raising it a little bit oh look bring it up lay it down bring it up lay it back down lay it back down Oh, oh. Well, I didn't plan on doing that. Hmm. Physics. Who knew they existed in train sim games? All right, let's pick her up. Come on. Oh. Oh, look. I bet we can let. Nope. Uh, we've already reached that point. Pick it up. Oh, swings in, hits the palm tree, but doesn't knock the palm tree down. I would think that something this big and this heavy hits a palm tree, think it probably would break it. I'm just saying, I think it would probably destroy it. All right, so we're going to boom out a little bit so we can clear the end of our locomotive. So let's boom that out some and rotate her around. And then you can use your uh, period and comma key to rotate the hook a little bit so we can align the train to the track and it's giving you the little silhouette down here to let you know what you need to do here so we'll rotate that over just a little bit our distance looks good we're in the green on the distance we just need to lower her down so what do you say we put her down and get her onto the track you don't have to be terribly precise on this if you if you had to be precise i don't think you could ever get this train on the track but boom there it is it's on the track it's hooked up to our train and now we're uh we're rolling again we're in a hurry to get back to the shop but yeah now we just have to navigate ourselves back to the shop and we'll do some repair work on this train so we'll just take this pass loop all the way back around head back to this uh to the depot here so we're going around around switches look good there there we got to do some switching down here. Other than that, everything looks good. So, yeah, let's move. There's a little road there. We should have whistle blown. So, give her some power. Give it some power. The scenery's cool. I mean, like I said, this is. I can totally see this is some. Some dude's been working on this miniature train setup for about 20 years. To get it looking like this i i really am shocked by the the quality of this and it's a pretty good game oh i am zooming i'm gonna tip over here in a minute if i'm not careful see a little stagnant g i mean you know it just it just reeks of of miniature train setup you know because there's no moving traffic or anything else like that so it makes you feel like that and i say that in a cool way i mean it's just it's just kind of cool if i you know i could never have a miniature train set up this cool the whole concept for the game though it's really awesome to me it's very interesting the fact that they you know like 
there, there's been some hit or miss simulator mechanic games like car mechanic simulator is awesome but there was like farm farm tractor mechanic simulator that wasn't that awesome or there was semi mechanic simulator that wasn't very awesome either um, this one though you know and, and I sort of thought uh oh you know this might not be good and it's actually surprisingly pretty decent I mean, I haven't played that much. Again, I've only played a few scenarios, so... Um, but what I've seen so far has been pretty cool. All right, so the damaged vehicle has been restored properly and towed to the workshop. Well, no, it hasn't been restored properly. It's been towed to the workshop. So let's actually do the repair part of it. But yeah, from what I've seen, it's a pretty interesting game and uh, has, has a lot of promise to it. All right, so it appears the problem is the damaged engine mounting in both trucks. Task income, 500 bucks, and it looks like we have six pieces that need to be found. And that was what I was saying earlier. You can look at your job order and you pretty much know how many pieces you need to work on based upon how many parts are listed up here on the page. Now, if it's anything like Car Mechanic Simulator, later on you're gonna get to the point where you're not going to have that much information. You're going to have to do it on your own. I expect there, you know, maybe some diagnostics down the road. Who knows? Uh, but at this point, it's it's basically giving us all the stuff. Uh, but it appears that the damage engine mountings in both trucks. So we'll be working on both the short and the long hood. So let's go. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to be proper and not say front and back. We're going to be working on the front and the back of this in here, buddy. Let's go. All right, so diagnostics mode or testing mode. We pretty much can see this is what's bad right here. Boom, nailed it. Come on, show me this is bad. Boom, nailed it again. I really don't have to go any further. I mean, I know that's I know that's where the problem is. And again, you can look at it. Everything else is gray and these pieces are rusty bad. It's just like car mechanic in that sense. So uh, we know that both of these need to be taken out. So let's go into disassembly mode. Let's click on this. We're going to have to take off over here first. Bolt, bolt, bolts. Lots of bolts to take out. Lots of bolts to take out. Bolts, 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 bolts. Aren't you glad we improved our, uh, our wrench so that we get things out a little bit faster? Yeah, see, a lot of the sound effects, a lot of the movements and everything, all feel like Car Mechanic Simulator, uh, even though it does come from a different developer. So maybe they, uh, you know, maybe they share. The wrench is a little bit different. I don't remember the wrench in uh, Car Mechanic being that um, um, white and and bulky. All right, so go ahead and take these out. You know, I'm doing this. Let's take that out, take that out. There we go. That's out. Let's go to the front of the truck now. Um, come on. This is the part that's a little. Uh, there we go. Hang on a second. Let's get out of here. Come on, jump out. Let's go down below and do it from underneath. Ha ha! See, you can actually work on it from down underneath. Though, I mean, the cameras go wherever the cameras want to go. Um, disassembly. Come on. There we go. So anyways, we'll take out all this. But your focal point, I guess, is where you're at when you interact with the, with the truck. So if you're standing up here in the front, you get a better view of something that you want to work on in the front. Boom. Done. That is out. All right. So get out of there. Can't see. It's kind of dark down here. Um, and let's go to the back truck and we'll do the exact same thing back here. Uh, this part here needs to be taken out. There we go. So the music is part of the game. Uh, I opted, I was going to take it out 
just so I didn't get a copyright strike. But I thought, you know what? Um, if it's copyright, it's copyright. But I'm going to leave it in just because that way you guys can, you know, hear that it had music as part of the game. And, you know, I'm trying to give you guys immersion into the game and let you see what it's all about. So some people like the fact that it's got music in it. Some people might be turned off by the music. You can turn it off if you want to. All right. Yeah, I definitely need to put some more points into a speed wrench. Because this does take a while. I didn't even bother doing diagnostics on this because I know this is where the problem is. However, though, it did say... Oh, well, it gives six parts. Hmm. That's only two. And what else could be wrong? We'll see. Maybe it's those mounting brackets. Maybe it's some of the mounting brackets are bad. Uh, so we're going to come over here to the mechanics workbench. It's still kind of a chuckle chuckle. Um, yeah, there we go. Some of these plates are bad. Repair! God, are we going to be able to repair these? Oh, 100%. Yes. Sweet. Uh, what about these guys? 100% on those. Ha ha. So we're not going to have excessive uh, cost on this. Nice. So all these just have to be repaired. I guess we have a magic torch that we, you know, we, um, we burnish these with to get all the rust and everything off of them. Give them a, uh, you know, a little coating of rust oleum or something. And all of a sudden they're, they're hunky dory. Super, super good. All right, so we'll repair those up. And, you know, again, you don't have to repair these, but since we're getting 100% repair on these, uh, we might as well, uh, you know, give the customer a little bonus, you know? Hey, look, you know? The question is, is uh, who's the customer? Or are, are we an independent shop or do we work for the railroad? Hmm, there's a question. I bet we work for the railroad. I bet we're working for the man. All right. Yeah, we're working for old Rockefeller. Hey, yeah, here we go. All right, so insulation mode. Go back, put everything back into place. Uh, select the engine mount. Yep. Wrench, wrench, wrench. Wrench, wrench, wrench. Wrench, wrench, wrench some more. Wrench, wrench, wrench a little bit more. Do we have any more points that we can put into some more wrenching? Hang on a second. Uh, no, we don't have the money yet. We'll have the money after this. All right, so wrench, 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 wrench. All right, so that one's done. And we go back to the back here. Put another one in place. There we go. All the bolts magically appear. Hope we squirted a little Loctite on them. go now we got to put the engine mounting plates on here or electric motor mounting brackets whatever they're called yeah we'll put that in place gets eight bolts bolt 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 bolts wrench 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 squeeze 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 now it's funny is we're using a ratchet but the tool that they have is a wrench uh, you know, uh, you know, that's uh, just, you know, me finding another humorous thing about the game for me. You know, come on, model a, model a ratchet, not a, not a wrench. Or as you folks over the pond like to call it a spanner. All right, come on. Span it. I think what you guys call a spanner, though, we call a crescent wrench. But anyways... All right, so that is the long hood. Now we go to the short hood. We go up here to the short hood, which, you know, that sounds politically incorrect. Hey, I read the short hood. All right, so. All right, get these screwed in here. And get another bracket back here. Come on, camera. Swing around so I can get to this little mounting bracket. Slap it on there. Give me another eight. All right. 
Eight more. All right. We're almost there. Another bracket. Another mount. We're good. There we go. And this train will be back in service to tump over another load of passengers. Hey, you wanted to go to the beach? I'm going to drop you off right there. High speed around the turn. Dump you right onto the sand. All right. Last bit. Here we go. Eight more bolts, and this job is complete. There we go. Uh huh. And voila. All right, that should be it, guys. So let's go ahead and check out our job order. All six things that were found. We did it. We saved some money. We'll get a bonus on this job. Finish the order. Hey, again, it needed a horn when it was going out. All right, so it's out. We made 2,000 bucks on that job. That's pretty good. So that means we can get a few more improvements uh, with the tablet here. So let's look at that. $2,600 we have for improvements. I'm definitely thinking the screw gun. Um, maybe I was screw loose, but I like the gun. And um, God, I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to be into electrical work soon, but I'm going to go with the hydraulic workbench. And I think that's going to be it for today. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you uh, let me know what you think of uh, this. If you want to see some more, we'll play some more. Uh, definitely. I like it. I'm having fun with it. It's it's quite entertaining and that's at the end of the day That's what it's all about, right? Uh, we'll see how in-depth it goes as far as the jobs and uh, how much longevity it has um, So far at least you're not doing the same thing over and over and over again That was one thing about car mechanic uh, in its early stages. It got really repetitive uh, doing the same thing but um, so far it's so good uh, but anyways if you liked it smack that like button leave a comment below and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel I try to do con new content on a daily or semi ba daily basis right now um, but uh, anyways thanks for dropping by today guys again it is uh, train mechanic simulator 2017 it'll be available on the 23rd on Steam check it out and uh, until the next time stay safe have a great day I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.